experiences. We've had some really crap service from the. Uh, Back a year ago Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going doing a few pubs around Bridport We're going to try the Hope and Anchor behind us. Apparently it's supposed to be a proper old style pub and we'll see what beers you have. It's a free house so uh, we'll go in. Might be too busy to do talking reviews but we'll do some pictures. Okay, come and join us. Okay, so we're leaving the Hope and Anchor and I won't be going back because they had Doom Bar or Wadworth 6X. Um, the Wadworth 6X tastes like apple. Uh, not good. Customer service wasn't brilliant either. Um, Mrs. B had a, a lager. We asked what brewery it's from and we told her it's just like the crap cheap lager. So it doesn't help when you know your beers. So yeah, so basically it was either Foster's, um, Carlsberg, or this lager, which actually turned out to be alright. <laughs> Probably tastes much better than the other stuff he had on. Um, so yeah, so that's Hope and Anchor. Bridport, not for me. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so now we're going to the Tiger Inn, Barrack Street, Bridport Town Centre. It's another free house. Got high hopes for this one. Not like the Hope and Anchor, so let's go and see what we've got. Okay, so we're in the Tiger Inn and I've got a Tiger Tom Ruby Mild from CERN Abbas Brewery. I think it's four point, I think, let me see what ABV is 4.4% ABV. So there you go, Ruby Mild. Oh, that's nice. It's actually got a bit of fruitiness there. Chocolate. Nice little bit of bready malt. Really easy drinking, 4.4%. That is lovely. Like I say, you got a chocolate, some of the roast malts there. But nothing harsh, no bitterness, a little bit of fruitiness. That's lovely. 4.4% well hidden as well. That is such an easy drink, nice Ruby Mild. That's Eagle Inn, Bridport. Brilliant customer service and a lovely pint, well, lovely drink of Ruby Mild. Okay, on to the next one. I have to say as well, it is really welcoming and it, we're in like one of the beer gardens. They've got a few, as you can see, and there's the pub itself. But the actual beer garden, this is just one of them. And it's just really really good so what a difference from one pub to the next makes um, still enjoying this ruby mild it's it's really good really delicate chocolate and nice dark fruit notes to it it's a lovely lovely drink I think Sir Abbas brewery quite might be quite local I'm not too sure but it's got a picture of brewery has got that you know that uh, on the hill that man with his yeah. penis um, <laughs> It's our brewery, so I think that's fairly local. I'm sure if Dan watches this, he'll tell me. Um, but it's a cracking beer, and what a lovely little pub this is. We found a little, uh, a little gemmy in Bridport, so go and see what else we've got and have another drink. See you in a minute. Okay, so second beer is Avocet from Exeter Brewery. It's a pale ale, 3.9% organic, so give it a go. Really light, nice, sort of bready malt, slight citrus notes. I think it's got organic hops in as well. It's got to be UK hops. Quite an easy drink, that's quite nice. Sessionable, 3.9%. In the Tiger Inn, that's a nice beer. That really is a really easy session drink. Mm. How about again? Exit a brewery. Okay, on to the next. I 
So there we go, Tiger Inn. That was a great little pub. Really enjoyed that. It's different cask real ales on local ales. Friendly, welcoming, just what you want. So, uh, don't know where we're going. We'll go to the next one. Okay. Okay, so we're going to try the Bull Hotel, which is a Fuller's pub. So, nip in and have one drink in there now. So it's like Okay, so that was the, the bull, it's a Fuller's pub, with only two Fuller's beers on. The rest were macro beers, and the two Fuller's beers were on keg, tap, no cask. I don't know if that's a thing with Fuller's, no idea. It's a great little place, or big place actually, if you're into food, but if you're into your beer, you want to go for a pub experience? Maybe not definitely focused on food more like a restaurant okay on to the next one okay so we decided suit of happiness next it's Bridport on the main street this is like a proper little micro pub micro bar which is uh, turning from a shop into pub bar thing so that's where we're heading to next pursuit of happiness So we're at Pursuit of Happiness, I've got a, what's this brewery called? Electric Bear. Electric Bear, Mrs. Beatrum, reminded me now. And it is, forgot to remember, Pale Ale, 4%. And it said looks nice, hazy, nice white head. Creamy, soft, definitely tropical. That's a nice beer that one is. I think it's in Bath, this brewery. Um, first time for me. Yeah, absolutely. It really, really is. That's a nice beer from the... Uh, I forgot the name of the brewery again. Electric Bear. Electric Bear. Why am I not remembering these, this beer and this brewery? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, cheers. Okay, so now we've got Crystal Days from Lenton Lane Brewery in Nottingham. So it's not really local, but it's still a brewery I've not had any beers from. Uh, this is a porter coming in at 4.5%. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's full on coffee. Lots of coffee notes in that. Coffee and chocolate like a mocha. Smells pretty good actually. Okay, cheers. Follow us through the aroma to the taste. Coffee, chocolate, little bit of fruit, a little bit of smokiness as well. It's quite nice that. That's not bad at all. Yeah, still at Pursuit of Happiness in Bridport. Enjoying this cracking little uh, craft bar this on the high street. So, yeah. I've got Abby laughing. I've got Mrs. B laughing. I've got Lewis laughing. I don't know what they're laughing at. But apparently they're laughing at Lewis. I have no idea. He's just always oh, watching me like he's watching me on YouTube. He's really interested. He's just giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> so that's Lenton Lane, Porter, Crystal Days, nice. On to the next one. Okay, so we've got a Gale 59 brew, uh, Summer of Love, Capitalist Hippie. Yes. Um, I've had this in bottle. What percentage is this? Six? 6.6. 6. 6.6%. 6. Um, let's get it wrong. Citrus, and then you're definitely getting a malt on your aroma as well, like a maltiness. Oh, 
all very subtle. Okay, cheers. Subtle on the aroma, but the taste is there. So you're getting a real nice hoppy flavour. You can tell it's six percent. You're getting a little bit of the alcohol. Quite a big body on it as well. Lots of um, like a go again. Citrus on like a caramel base. It's really quite nice actually. Six point six percent. Kyle 59. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we're finishing on a super pooper vibrant forest. I've got hiccups. This is an 8% double IPA. Mrs. B keeps saying, hold your breath. I keep holding my breath, but then they come up for air. Not long enough. Yeah, not long enough. And there it goes again. This, I had this the other day is soft, fruity, citrus, tropical. It's, it's just really, there we go again. It's just really good. It's got lots of, it, it's creamy. There must be oats in there. Let's get in, cheers. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. It's got, um, you know them little purple sweets? What are them little purple sweets? Uh, Palmer Violets. Palmer Violets. It's got that in it. It's got fruit. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's got next to no bitterness. And it just, it just drinks really, really well. The alcohol is hidden. It's there, but it helps balance. So it, it, it is hidden in the fact that you could easily drink a lot of, a lot of this. It could be quite dangerous. Well, vibrant Forest, fantastic beer from the New Forest, and uh, yeah, what a beer to finish on. Okay, thanks for watching. It's been uh, an interesting afternoon in Bridport, Dorset, and uh, we've had some fantastic beers. We've had some experiences. We've had some really crap service from the uh, Hope and Anchor. You know, well, how would you advertise? You know, basically saying here's what's that lager and you go well it's just a crap cheap lager um, that's not good um, but everywhere else we've been it's been superb suit of happiness is fantastic the bull if you want to go for food that's good and then you've got the tiger in which has got some fantastic beers really well it's just been a really good afternoon okay thanks for watching cheers and i'll see you on the next one I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops